you know, with electrochemistry, it's a little like skating in a mini ramp. You've invested so much pain and blood and tears that you're happy with a few tricks. Probably that is. Without trying something new, it's boring. My best advice is try something new. Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I hope we convinced you to try something new within electrochemistry. And here I want to show you some of our examples. One unusual example uh, you can see here. It's a bipotensostatic static setup from an interface 5000 and an interface 1010E potensostat running uh, in a synchronized way to do IMPs, IMVs, which means intensity modulated photocurrent or photovoltage spectroscopy, which you can use to characterize your uh, disensitized solar cell or your solar cell within this setup. Okay, some extra comments about one part of this bipotential static setup, which is the interface 5000. And this instrument is somehow special because it has a real dual electrometer which enables you to run EIS measurements on both half cells of your cell at the same time. And this can either be your battery, a fuel cell or a cell for your membrane studies. Another way to make sense of this bipotential static setup is for example to combine it with a rotating ring disk electrode device, uh, which is usable in two uh, different fashions. Uh, the first one is the RDE working fashion or ring disk electrode measurement where you combine only one potentiostat with this instrument to make uh, your setup run with a rotating electrode and this creates hydrodynamically controlled situations um, which are necessary for you to turn off mass transport limitation. And this is necessary or useful for you to find out um, the saturation current uh, of your catalyst um, without uh, mass transport limitation. Um, another way is to, to use it as an RRDE device, which is rotating ring disk electrode working fashion, where you combine the two potentiostat in a synchronized way and to control either disk electrode and um, ring electrode independently uh, from the grounding point of view but on the timing point of view they run uh, synchronized. In one hand I have the RDE, the rotating disk electrode and in the other hand I have the rotating ring disk electrode with another platinum ring around the glassy carbon disk which is the same. But here you can use only one potentiostat to do your catalyst research, but here you need a bipotentiostatic setup, which has to run synchronized, uh, but floating from each other. So you don't interfere the measurements between the two working electrodes in the same electrolyte, which are uh, electrically connected. Another rather unusual setup is this combined system of a Gamery Reference 600 Plus potentiostat and the EQCM 10M Quartz Crystal Microbalance that is running simultaneously uh, in combination with this cell where you can assemble one half cell of your battery for example and you cycle uh, with your potentiostat and at the same time uh, you can study gravimetrically the lithium intercalation into your electrode in the microgram to nanogram range so very sensitive and rapidly fast so dynamic changes can be studied as well now we had the bipotential static setup we had the real dual electrometer from the interface 5000 and we had the micro or nano gravimetry uh, with a combined system and now we have here the ice box Maybe you use 
cycling for batteries to determine the capacity of the battery. Why not run random EIS measurements on your cells in between?